Hi, my name is Nitisha and welcome to a day in my life. I'm from Nepal and now living in the US for past 10 years. I'm 31 years old and a business systems analyst in a healthcare firm. All of a sudden, quarantine has made me a breakfast person. Sunflower seed butter and sprouted bread have become my staple now. I try my best to do affirmation and journaling in the morning, especially on the weekdays, to manage my anxiety because some days it's just off the roof. I was never an affirmation kind of person, but now I can say it does truly help. In the beginning, it seems so weird and it feels like you're lying to yourself, but all these feel good cheesy habits do work. In the morning when I'm running late, I listen to it while I'm doing chores or making coffee and lately I've been adding CBD oil to my coffee as well. Covering up my dark circles so I look alive. I really wish dark circles were considered to be sexy because mine are hella prominent. If I have time in the morning, I try to edit right before starting my corporate work. Here, I'm editing how to curl wet hair using a t-shirt. Really don't want to start work, but gotta do what you gotta do. Call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing. And you're terrified somebody's gonna stick you in a cage. Maybe you're already in that cage and build it yourself. Looking at some apartment. We were not planning to buy an apartment anytime soon, my sister and I, but since with COVID, the prices have decreased significantly, both with rental and condos. We started looking into it, so it's been a big learning curve for sure. Because before this, I had no fucking clue what HOA meant. I prefer working out in the evening. Typically, I take either 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. class. Today, I'm working out at noon because I have to go to Manhattan later in the evening after work. I have my second hair laser removal appointment. These Zoom workouts have been keeping me strong, sane, and motivated. I just Finally done. It was a tough workout. I am going to quickly stretch, shower, heat up my food, and be back at my desk by 1.10. I don't have meeting at 1, I think my next meeting is at 2, but I do need to prep before that. 2 or 3. Getting in a workout always feels good at the end. It sucks in the beginning and also in between as well, but, the, but at the end it's worth it. So I completely got sidetracked. I got back to work around 1.10 and then a couple of emails respond back to and I have to set up meetings for Thursday and Friday. So I'm eating leftovers from last night that my sister cooked. It is a rice with um, ground beef. So basically to work. Hey Chape. You trying your mama? Come here. He looks like wilding. <laughs> His appointment is next week. Do you want your tea? Do you want your tea? Do you want your green? Okay, he wants his sweet. Okay, okay, okay. My dreams are coming true.
Days are hard and nights are long I like singing you this song Skinny dipping with the moon Life's more fun when I'm with you I am getting so hungry, so I'm gonna get, get some yogurt. I don't know if I have any fruits left. This is my first time trying out the plant-based yogurt. My sister is doing Whole30 starting next week. She's the one who mainly cooks, so since she'll be cooking Whole30 food, I will be doing Whole30 indirectly as well. There's no sugar in this one. Taste wise, it's actually not bad. It does taste like yogurt. Oh yeah, it's one gram of sugar. If I put strawberries, blueberries, or even granola on top of it, this would taste really good. It's 6.36 now. I am running so fucking late. So, I missed my train. It's 6.52. My next train is in 6 minutes. I have to run now. I missed that train too. The next train is in now. It's cold, wet. I have three layers on. I have my black high neck, my white sweater, and my coat. Also with my jeans, I have black stockings on. I'm done. You know, treatment is so short. I feel like taking off my clothes that I have like multiple layers on today was much more longer than actually the treatment itself uh this one the second time around i would say the left side was hurting more than the right it wasn't still that bad I freaking love jalapeno chips and I always want to try different brands. The reason why I got it is because of branding. It says save a potato. Oh, I like it. This is my favorite hummus from Whole Foods and it's jalapeno. I've eaten this hummus with other jalapeno chips. But this one, you don't really need the hummus actually. The chips itself is really rich in taste. Next thing I got is eggs. Some sprouted bread. My favorite Korean noodles and salmon from my avocado toast because I ain't paying for avocado toast outside anymore. I am curry, roti kanai, sambal, chicken, and tomatoes. This is the first time I'm getting Hello Fresh. My sister got a coupon for three free meals. One is Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti, fully loaded pork. Taquitos. The third one is Moss Duff Caprice Burgers with griddled tomato, creamy pesto, and potato wedges. Well, this is not sponsored by HelloFresh. I wish it was. Washing dishes is my least favorite chore, but waking up to a clean kitchen in the morning feels so freaking good. This is a sign of me getting old when things like this, like household things, make me feel excited. I just started reading this book and I truly enjoyed it. It's insightful and gives a positive light towards anxiety. I always used to think, well, I still think, <laughs> it's a work in progress, that anxiety and intrusive thoughts are negative. And I always look for ways on how I can get rid of it or better ways to cope with it. The book emphasizes that anxiety is part of life and since you can't really escape it, you may as well as embrace it. It encourages you to change your mindset of 
resisting and resenting anxiety to an approach where you look anxiety with curiosity, stillness, and gratitude. I'm going to end the vlog here. This was my first proper vlog ever. If you guys enjoy watching these kind of videos, do let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really motivates and pushes me to make these kind of videos because it gets very lonely in this saturated YouTube world. If you have an Instagram, my Instagram is style with Tisha and I will see you guys next week. Bye.